Today, I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to go through and create your TikTok ads account and a TikTok business center so that you can have everything centrally located in one spot and be able to control permissions, users, payments, uh, and everything in between all in this video. So let's jump right in. So the first step to create your TikTok ads account is to click the link down below in the description. It will take you to a page that looks like this where you can click that get started now button, go through and put your email and create a password in here and then hit continue. The next page will take you to a page that asks you just for some information about your business name, telephone number, time zone, and currency, just kind of basic details. Next, you want to go through and set up your billing information in your state and province. I prefer automatic payment, so it just comes right out of the credit card. You can set up manual payments if you wanted to, but most of the time I recommend automatic. And after you click that button, congratulations, your TikTok ads account is now officially created. However, there are a couple other things that we want to make sure we go through and set up. So um, when it does ask for this mode, you're going to want to go through and press custom mode. Um, that way it gives you more options for targeting and things like that. And then from here, it's going to try and get you to go and create a TikTok ad. But at first, before you go through and do that, I do want to go through and explain the difference between a TikTok business center and a TikTok ads account, because a lot of people get these confused on what they are. And I want to explain why you should consider t setting up a TikTok business center along with with your TikTok ads account. So a TikTok business center is kind of look at it like an umbrella, as you can see here. It's an umbrella that houses lots of different assets, including your TikTok ad account or TikTok ad accounts if you have multiple TikTok ad accounts. It also can house your TikTok accounts, like the actual profile users see when they visit your TikTok profile. It can go through and manage your users or employees within your business. And it can also manage your pixels, catalogs, and audiences. And I think TikTok puts this really well. You can see a TikTok ads manager probably has tools for you to launch campaigns, manage ad resources, monitor data, and optimize your advertising. Whereas TikTok business centers is a one-stop hub for all organizations of all sizes. A business center allows organizations to centralize their assets and teams in one place, enabling permissions, allocations, and asset usage in an effective, way, effective and safe way. So we went through and created the TikTok ads manager and everybody needs to go through and create a TikTok ads manager in order to run TikTok ads. And if you just wanted the ads manager, that's fine. So the ultimate question is when should you consider using a TikTok business center? TikTok also outlines this, when you have one or more person that manages access to your TikTok ads account, to manage and share assets among multiple accounts, to request access to other accounts, or to quickly share many ad accounts and organizations in bulk. But to be honest, if you are a business, I recommend everybody go through and set up a business center. It's just much easier, especially as you scale, um, to be able to give maybe an agency access to your ads account or a new employee and to manage the, the access that they have to everything. So in order to create a TikTok business center, we're gonna go back to our TikTok ads manager that we just created and click that little business center icon in the top right hand corner. It's going to take you to a view that looks something like this, where it's going to have you simply go through and set up your account details. It asks for a business center name. Most of the time you just put your business name inside of here, the time zone, and then describe your business and then add your billing information. Once you've gone through and done that, it will take you to a view that looks something like this that says, welcome to your TikTok business center. Now inside of the TikTok business center, you can see in the left-hand column, we have the advertising account. And remember, the TikTok Business Center is just a place for you to go through and house all of your different assets. So now we're gonna go through and request access to our TikTok Ads Manager account. It's asking for the ID. In order to find that, go to your TikTok Ads Manager and click on the top right-hand corner. You'll see a little ID there that you can go through and copy. So we're gonna go through and copy that right there. And then if anybody ever asks for access to your ads, ads account, you can send them this ID. And then you want admin or you can do operator or analyst. This is where TikTok Business Manager is really powerful because you can assign specific roles depending on who you want have, having access to certain things. So now your business manager has access to the TikTok ads account, but you need to give individual users access to it. So here I am giving myself access to that ads account. If I had employees inside of here, I could go through and give them access to the account, or if I had other employees that I didn't want, have, want have, having access to the ad account, I could do that as well. This is where you can go through and connect your TikTok profile account, the one, the one that users actually see when they're, you know, when you're creating videos and things like that. All you need to do is go through and open up your TikTok app and follow the instructions here and scan this code and your, your account will be connected. Then we can go through and hit got it. And then you can see it will load up in this kind of center column backcourt pickleball there. From there, I can go through and assign members to this account. Now, if I wanted to add a brand new member to my business manager because I wanted to give them assets, give them access to one of my, my assets, I can go here to members. And this is where I could go through and hit this little button in the top right hand corner or top kind of left hand and then go through and type in someone's email address to send them access to my business manager. 
and you can choose whether, whether you want them to have admin or standard permission, hit next. And then from here, it's going to ask you to it, what things you want to give them permission to automatically. So you can see, I can go and give this person access to the ad account or to my catalog and give them certain permissions to everything as well. So as you can see, it's just a very standardized way to go through and manage every level of permission for every one of the assets that you have. You can go through and send that, it will send them an email and then they can go through and accept that invitation to your business manager. Now, a couple other things you want to set up in your business manager if you're doing e-commerce is your catalog. If you're running leads or things like that, you don't need to, need to necessarily worry about that. But you can go through and connect your catalog in Business Center. You can go through and manage that and build a catalog inside of here. There's lots of different ways to do the catalog. So I'm not going to get in too much detail into this. But if you go through and follow the steps that TikTok has outlined here, you can easily go through and create your catalog and have that managed no matter what your uh, what e-commerce platform you are using. Okay, so we now have our TikTok Business Center pretty much all set up. If you come over here to the overview, the next thing you're going to want to go through and do is set up payment details and then go through and actually create your ads. You can now go through and manage users. You have all sorts of different assets in here. If you don't already have your pixel set up, you can go through and assign the pixel in here or create a new one in your business manager. And from here, if you want to now go back to your TikTok ads account, there's a couple of different ways you can do that. Here on the shortcuts, when the overview tab, you can go through and click create ads. It will ask you to go to the ad account and then you can go over to your ad account or inside of here, if you go over to your advertising accounts, you'll see a list of all the different advertising accounts that you have access to when this loads up. And then from here, you can click on this button and go to ads manager and it will take you to the ad interface where you can go through and start creating your ads. Now, if you aren't familiar on how to create ads or want to learn more about that, I have a full tutorial on how to start creating your first TikTok ads. You can find that right here. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe on the way out if you found value and we'll see you in the next one.